Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are back with the last part of the new Huey build here on my series. Now, in this video, we're going to be adding, of course, the new first person equipment to the helicopter and just finishing off a couple of the features on it. But before we get started, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button and ring the little bell icon to be notified about upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. With that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. And getting started, we're going to be entering the final of this Huey build. Now there's been a few small changes since the last video. I've done a little bit of painting around the helicopter. You can see this looks like a little NJ logo there. We've got some uh, little icons. Uh, there's some wording around there and I've just painted the back a little bit. I'm still sticking with this gray color scheme. I don't know if I'm gonna update it or not, um, but I'd love to hear your comments in the video description below. Uh, along with that, the other change that I've also done is I've added uh, my actual laser tracking spotlight. Uh, uh, if you want to check this out, I have got a full video on how to create this. It's actually really simple and what it does is it just goes and tracks any laser uh, with this little spotlight. So it's really cool for especially with search and rescue missions where you may be focusing on a target or something. This is a really cool thing to have on there. Um, besides that, I've added a harness, nothing special, but I think it's now time to finish this helicopter off with. Uh, we're going to be adding some first person equipment onto this helicopter and I'm also thinking of possibly making it uh, remote controllable um, just in case like we fall out and we can just quickly grab our remote controller and actually control the helicopter but that's just an idea um, but let's start by adding all our first person equipment in here so the first thing I know that I'm definitely going to need is going to be a fire extinguisher I'm going to just switch over to a darkest color here and let's go get a fire extinguisher now I was thinking of quite a few different places I was thinking maybe here um, I'm still not 100% on where I want this. I know obviously all these walls here at the back are kind of going to already be built in with logic. So I need to be a little bit careful of where I'm actually placing a few things. But in terms of fire extinguisher, I was kind of thinking maybe even actually putting it against this. So like possibly having a fire extinguisher like that and having it so you can obviously access it on that panel. That's what I was thinking at least. Um, so it's kind of almost supported and we can have one on either side. Uh, that was my idea for the fire extinguisher. And then we still need to add in some other equipment. Now, I know that I want to have some night vision binoculars up in the actual front of the helicopter in the pilot seat. That way, when you're flying, you can quickly grab some night vision equipment and actually see what we're flying over. So let's go and find the night vision goggles here wherever they are, they are right there so we need to find a space where to put them now this once again it's very tight in terms of space here uh, i've used a lot of these blocks and areas up already so what i was thinking is instead of down here i was just going to go up and actually put it over in the roof now i can put blocks here and i can put blocks there so i'm thinking maybe over there and over there yeah, let's go with that and we'll go with one night vision goggles over there and let's do another one over there. So that means the pilot and the co-pilot has access to night vision. We by default always have a torch and uh, binoculars. So the other thing I think I would like to add is possibly some radios uh, in here just in case we need them at any stage. Um, but I don't think the pilot will need them or the co-pilot because they have their own built-in radio just at the top here. So it's going to be more for the passengers. So I was thinking of possibly putting two radios just over there. I think that will look pretty good just to have them there. What other equipment do we need? Uh, remote control units. I wanted to have at least one of those in the helicopter just in case of emergencies. Uh, I'm also going to have some ropes because obviously I do have some rope points like here on the winch and also underneath the helicopter there's some rope points. So let's add some rope in and I think a good place would maybe possibly up here in the ceiling. Yeah, let's go with one over there and let's do another one over there. At least have two ropes just in case we ever need them. So yeah, I think two ropes just there. And I think we need to fix the colors at the top here. Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's just fix the colors. So we've got fire extinguishers, we've got radios, we've got binoculars, we've got some rope here. Um, I guess the last thing left is maybe just some, some medical equipment. So let's go with three medical aid kits and also we need a defib so let's go and get a defib and let's put a defib over here okay so actually i want to change the color of those i want to get them darker colors so 
get rid of those for now let's go to dark put that there and let's get our medical aid kits and let's put them over there so we're going to go and paint that so i want to paint the liver forever let's go with a green yeah i think that will look pretty good and then actually why don't we just delete that and then we're going to put some blocks there i think so the last part of equipment that i do want is going to be let's see i want a flare let's do flare ammo so we'll do flare ammo over there and let's do two flare guns you never know when you need the flare guns so at least we have them in the creation if need be so i think that pretty much covers it uh in terms of what personal equipment we don't need any electrical cables i don't need a compass d field we have fire things we have uh flare guns we have flashlight we don't need binox we have oxygen mask nah signal locator we have a signal locator Actually, that reminds me we need to get the signal locator connected uh everything else is fine uh, welding torch possibly um i guess we could put it here no we won't be able to fit it in there so if i can maybe try and fit one in let's see yeah let's try and fit a welding torch in here just in case we need it or i don't know some particular reason um it's always good to have all the equipment that you have possible yeah i think that's good so that reminds me we need to get the transponder connected which is underneath here so we need some way of turning it on and off and we need a way to go and connect to a buzzer so i already have a buzzer over there is there any way i can hook this up to anything don't think so let's add another buzzer in so let's go and find a buzzer there we go and we'll come up to we could do yeah let's do a buzzer over here so a buzzer over there and let's do a maybe a button over here to turn it on yeah so let's go and grab a let's see what should we use maybe just a toggle button or a key switch yeah let's just use a button i think would probably be the best solution so let's go and find a nice button for ourselves so we'll go use a toggle button just over here and we're going to name that our emergency transponder finder or locator yeah let's do locator okay and we'll connect that up so we're going to connect that up to the actual transponder there the beacon locator and then the pulse is going to go up to the buzzer and we just need to make sure we give that some electricity so we'll go through our connections connect that up connect that up actually i'm going to make sure i connect my equipment to some electricity too just to recharge some things like the binoculars to recharge them I don't think anything else we need no we don't need electricity on anything else so that's fine oh we might need on the remote control units okay so let's get that connected too okay so that takes care of that let's just check the buzzer noise what noise do we want yeah that's fine i think yeah that's fine i like that little pitch that's good pitch for the transponder finder let's make sure we just paint the top here cool and that's done and then the last thing is to get the all the radio stuff so i need to get a radio antenna somewhere so i was thinking i think do i already have any radio antennas i do i have one here at the back which i'm already using so let's see if we can maybe fit another one in somewhere so can we fit one in somewhere in here yeah i guess we could do one just over there it's taking not really taking up any space so yeah let's do it right there that should be fine and then we can get that connected some to some electricity and then we'll need to go on to my highlighting so this is the jet engine controller i think i have this yeah so i'm going to go over to my waypoint here controller go into it and we're going to add a new logic node and that's going to be for remote control so remote control that's going to be composite and it's going to be input that's perfect and then we will also need a number out and that's going to be for radio control okay cool so that's fine that's fine let's go into the logic and this is where it's going to get a little bit confusing but what we can pretty much go and do is we're going to go and take that all the way to the side take that to the side i'm going to get a constant number and i'm going to say the helicopter can be controlled let's do channel five 
Okay, just so I know that's channel five. And what we pretty much need to do is you can see here's the seats. So we've got two different seats here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding that on. So what I can pretty much do is take all these controls, copy and paste them, cross, get my composite from my actual remote controller. And I'm gonna add them on here. So go add. So you can control it from either remote controller or from the helicopter itself. So I'm gonna get one add there, one add there, one add there, and one add there. So we have a few of them. I'm gonna connect this one up there, this one up there, this one there, and this one there. And then wherever that was meant to go, we're just gonna connect them up. So that can go there. That was going to there, so we'll connect there. This one was going down there and it was going down there and down there okay and then this one was just going down there so we'll just connect that up over there perfect and then all we have to do is literally take these and connect them up too perfect and connect that great and we can just drag this out ever so slightly just to make sure it's still connected all that's connected perfect so that's pretty much about it for the radio controller we can just update that control we can go in and find, let's make sure we got electricity on this radio, we do. Let's go to our composite and we got an input from our radio going into remote control and we should have an output for the radio control frequency. That's it. So that should in theory work. So what I'm going to do now is let's spawn this in and let's test out all the systems, make sure everything is working as I want to. Oh, something else I also did is I added some flares here at the back. Uh, just a little cool feature so we got all of our first person equipment the let's go and test everything so we jump into the helicopter and let's see so we got master battery and avionics that's fine let's see the story with the winch here so light light works that's fine up and down yeah that works fine too and i've got meters there too we've got the harness which also has up and down and spotlight so spotlights three up, down, yes, that works too. Okay, I'm happy with all that. I don't need to check any of the equipment. I will check the remote control units in a few seconds though. Uh, let's go and test the actual helicopter. So, fuel pumps and prime engines. Increase our RPS. Okay, we got a warning, so let's go and turn the warning off. Our little map screen, camera screen. You can also see how to put some dimming on it. So you'll notice that in a few seconds, the actual controls go and dim away, which is pretty cool. They disappear, so you get a nice clearer screen. Rotor brake, no. Emergency beacon, no. Take control, have control. Dome lights, so let's just check the lights work. Yeah, they do, and they change red and green and then off. Yep. Uh, we got navigation, strobe, beacon, landing, and okay, so landing works. Our navigation, our beacon, and our strobes. Yep, those work too, so I'm happy with that. Uh, what else? Increase altitude. Yeah, that works, so we can test that out in a few minutes. Uh, we also have autopilot altitude hold, so we can test to see how the autopilot system is working too. So we'll test that out in a few minutes. Let's make sure we're at a good, decent height. Uh, all this other stuff seems like it's all working here, which is good. Fly time, heading, yep, that's all working as expected, so I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see if we can take off. So, yeah, we got enough power to lift off, which is good. Happy with that. Let's go and just check the camera lights. So, we should have lifting lights and camera. Yep, so the lifting light is on, that's fine. So we can remove that. Let's get our landing lights off. I wanna check the GPS, oh, sorry, the laser, laser spotlight and make sure that's working. So let's go to the left, let's turn laser on. Okay, let's bring it up a little bit. And there we go, you can see the spotlight's already gone and activated on that spot. Let's move it to the left. Is the spotlight following it? It is, look at that. That's awesome. Cool, I'm really happy about that and that that's working. Let's turn that laser off. Um, Cool, you can see that that went and reset. So that's working, let's go and check our alt hold. So 
So where's our altitude there? 36, 38. What did I set it to? 43. Almost perfect. Let's check our autopilot. Okay, so it's flying us to that location. Cool. Because we're so close, it's going really slowly there. But that looks like it's working perfectly fine. Let's go and take those things off. We're going to stop the helicopter just over here. Okay, let's land it. Okay, and I'm going to jump out and I'm going to see if I can control it using the remote controller. So let's see. So we're going to switch it to channel 5. Enable it. <laughs> I can control the helicopter. That's awesome. Look at that. So if you ever fall off, or if you go down for a rescue, you can just jump out of the helicopter, go and rescue the people, and then you can come back, tell the helicopter, hey, stop there, come down, pick us up, please. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we can jump in it, and we can fly it. So that's awesome. I think being able to control the helicopter with the remote controller is really cool. Um, and it just, you know, it just opens up. You never know what kind of situation you're going to be in. But I think that's pretty much about it for the helicopter. I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to do. Um, all the features that I can imagine are on this helicopter. I might update the paint scheme, as I said earlier on. But everything else is, is there and it works. Let's just double check the doors that they are working. So... Let's get the remote control out of the way. Doors closed. Let's close that one. Yeah, that works. Let's do the other one. Yeah, that closes too. So that's all the doors now gone and closed. Yeah, I'm happy with that, eh? I think that's a nice little build. Nice and easy. It's got everything that we possibly need on it. It's got flares. It has more than enough fuel lasting us what 100 minutes of flight time we can lift people we can lift cargo underneath there we got some hooks underneath there we got rope we got all the first person we've got the camera we got the searchlight i think that's about it for what i wanted on this helicopter but i would love to hear your guys opinions on this helicopter what do you think else needs to be added i think i think i'm pretty much done as i said i might just work on the paint job a little bit uh, and I still want to go and put it on the workshop. So I will be doing that this week. So definitely keep an eye out on the workshop. But yeah, nice little helicopter build. I would like to also hear what you guys want to see in the next build. Uh, I'm, I'm eager to start a new build here on my series. Uh, we've just finished this one off. What do, you, what do you think we should be building next? I'd love to hear it in the video comments below. But as always, I hope you have enjoyed this and found some entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.